Where's Fi? I don't see her. She could have woken first and wandered off. Sigma! Sigma! Huh? It's after midnight now. What? Tell me the year turned over. It's no longer the year 2028, but... 2029. How long have we been asleep then? My last memory was... Ten and a half hours ago. You're talking about the vote at 1330? Yes. But... That doesn't mean we've only been sleeping, though. We could have woken up several times. You're saying the amnesia drug made us forget. Well, better start looking for Fi. Yes, you're right. This is the last of the rooms. That Fi... Where'd she go? Welcome to the transporter room. Zero. I can only assume you are searching for something. If you'd like to learn their whereabouts, do as I say. Damn it! So what are your orders? First, I shall explain the room to you. As the name suggests, this room contains a device called a transporter. It was discovered roughly 140 years ago, in the year 1888, at the South Pole. A German expedition was exploring the area. At one point, they became lost, and subsequently stumbled upon it. The device was carefully transported to their homeland and researched in secret. What they eventually uncovered was the fact that the device was not made by man. Perhaps it came from a distant planet or some alternate world. Regardless, they determined the intelligence that created it far surpassed that of humans. Despite not understanding how it worked, they figured out what it was used for. This device is capable of transporting things through space-time. Hence why it was named the Transporter. But its construction is much different from what you'd normally expect. If you look toward the back left corner, you'll see something resembling a tree root. This is the nucleus of the transporter, and controls its function. And to your right, you should be able to see two objects that look like beds. These are called input pods. Look further right. The two objects similar to Cusanides are the export pods. In the back is a large container called the material tank. Inside is oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, a variety of chemical elements that exist on Earth stored individually. You use it as follows. First, place the material to be transferred into the input pod. We'll call it X to simplify matters. Next, select the location of transfer on the pod console. Pulling the lever will cause the input pod to begin scanning. This scan reads the exact placement of each atom that makes up Object X. The obtained data travels through space-time directly to the transfer point's nucleus. That nucleus will then analyze it. It will send the necessary elements from the material tank 
to the export mod and recreate Object X's original form precisely. Essentially, it acts as an atomic level 3D printer. A massive amount of energy is required to do a transfer. Once a transportation has occurred, it takes roughly 10 months to recharge. The device cannot be used during that time. A variety of objects can be placed in the same pod, however. In order to transfer a human, each pod must only hold one body within it. Two or more people cannot go into a single pod. It is very difficult to recreate individual brains and proteins. I obtained this machine back in 2009. It had been stored in a U.S. research facility. American troops had confiscated it after the German loss during World War II. My explanation ends here. There is a special characteristic about this device, however. This transporter is not simply a device that allows you to teleport. What is transferred is only the atomic data. The object itself does not get transported. Furthermore, that data travels through space-time. It does not just go to the past or present, but also to other histories. Now, my instructions. Currently, no power runs through the transporter nucleus. It is completely stopped. If you are able to restart it, you may obtain that which you desire. Oh, I know you'll do your best. Good luck to you. Thank you.
Yes, but... Now announcing the current casualties. C-Team, Carlos, Junpei. Q-Team, Q, Mira, Eric. D-Team, Vi. These six are now deceased. What? It can't be. is a lie. It, it's gotta be. I refuse to believe this is true. Sigma! Hey, Vi! Where the hell are you? Are you trapped somewhere? If you can't speak, just, just make a noise! Please, Vi! Please! Answer me, damn it!
Hey, what's wrong? Are you all right? You okay? Yes. Thank you. And Fi? This door will never open again, then. Yeah. Why did Akane leave alone? No idea. There's... There's no way to tell what happened over in Ward C. We only know one thing. Carlos and Junpei are dead. That's it. So, you believe the announcement? Well, if what it said earlier is true, then that means Q Team is dead as well. But unlike C Team, we can figure out exactly how Q Team died. They were executed. Likely, because of the vote at 1330. Diana, I believe you picked Q-Team then, right? Yes, but I... I know. You just did as the notes suggested. The real betrayer is... Carlos. Not good. It's almost time for us to get injected again. We don't have time to waste. Come with me. Sigma? What are you doing? The X store will never open again. Now, all we can do here is just wait to die. What? You don't mean you're planning to transport? What other choice do we have? We have one to wait for Akane. I'm sure the police or a rescue team will. Can't count on that. But why? This is the tree form timeline. Listen to me, Sigma! This is not the time for pointless arguing. We are escaping this horrible history. We're going to where Phi exists. Sigma? I've selected the transfer point. All we have to do is pull this lever. Then, we need to run to the input pods. Wait! I'm going to go even if you want. What? I'm starting it. You ready? Let's go. Let's hurry. <laughs> 